and groove to improve your life. Author and famed Backstreet Boys and Take 5 original choreographer and ABC Los Angeles fitness motivator Joey L. Dowdy tells how he rises above setbacks and challenges to live in the groove power of his full potential. You know the people who train under me, they know that they better be out there doing it and they better know it because that's how I teach and I and I and it's about rising up to a higher standard. If you want to just be on the standard with people who are faking it, when you run across, like I said in my video, I am not a fan of the phrase fake it to make it. Because what happens when you meet someone who's not faking it? Like Tiger Woods, Michael Phelps, the young set, or Lady Gaga. Someone like a Tiger Woods who's not out there golfing and faking it. He has a strategy, he has a plan, and years, he's, and years of, of hard work he's put into it, so he knows what he needs to do when he's up against the pros, like, like a Michael Phelps. He knows what he needs to do, and that Olympic is all about what he's done up to that point to kick those feet. Even I read something when he was um, injured and he was rehearsing, or he didn't know if he would do the next Olympic, Olympics because he was injured, but he practiced and practiced and he was in the water kicking those feet. It was those few kicks that got him that gold medal. If he had not been practicing, well, I'm just gonna get out there and fake it. <laughs> then he would have not reached his ultimate goal. You know, same thing. Beyonce, I talk about in the video too. And what she does, she really works those moves and she rehearses on those moves from day in to day out. In you know, the same thing with Janet and and, uh, and some of the other greats that are out there, uh, you know, they work at it. Gaga, I mentioned in my video too, in the Shake It Till You Make It video, that she practices her voice. You know, I'm sure she has vocal coaches and uh, she knows how to hit the notes and she practices. Um, she's just out there just yelling and screaming. <laughs> but you hear some people just yelling and screaming all off tune and everything. You know, she knows when she's off tune and when she needs to get on tune. Some people don't know that because people are saying, just fake it till you make it. Yeah, you sound great. Wait a minute, you're, you're off tune. You are off key. You need to find the keys and practice to get on key. All of that is a part of becoming better. A better human being, a better artist, a better person, no matter who you are. So that's why I'm not a fan of that phrase. I'm a fan of shake it till you make it because of what, like I was saying, sometimes in life, things won't go the way that you plan them to. So you gotta shake them up. And I'm sure there are a lot of folk I'm speaking to right now who need to do something different, who need to get out there and shake those things up. So that's what I wanted to share with you. I wanted to share with you my why and discuss honestly about, some people might be ticked off about that video. <laughs> Wait a minute, fake it, that's what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? But this is just my opinion. Everybody has your opinion, you're entitled to your opinion, but I wanted to share this with you and I'm so excited about the future of what we can do together and the videos and the things that I'm coming up with. I uh, have a really cool next video coming out or whenever it comes out. This is show me the moves or the money. <laughs> That's something different too. I like to take a different turn on things. I see things that are out there. I see the videos that are out there, the workout stuff. I see all of that, but it's important for me to do it uniquely in my way. And the, and, and, and the experiences that I've had, I try to bring those forth in my work as well. So, and the same thing with you. Do you and do what is unique about you and do it in the way that you desire to do it but still get the training, take the lessons, you know, and learn from people who are better than you, who have more to offer than you. Even I do the same thing with people out there and coaches and stuff that I consult with that know more than I do. I take their advice. It so bothered me when I was watching American Idol the other night, 